Hello and welcome to Calagram Market. I'll wait for a couple of minutes to make sure that we have enough people, etc. And um, sorry, I was uh, missing in action in the last couple of days, but it's okay. On Thursday, anyway, we said 1700 can each a shot, and then so it pretty much worked out very well, I suppose, our last um, this thing because basically the market was in a struggle zone between. So okay, so I'll just recap. So last couple of days we were uh, missing in action because I was and I'm still on a holiday, but. Uh, but it's okay. I can I can get like a 10 minute <laughs> every day here. So last time we said there is uncertainty. Long above 7800, short below 7500, right? And the reason for our analysis was that we spotted this trend line there. So on, <clears throat> so our actual thing was to short below uh, this trend line if it breaks. But just to be double sure, because there was a lot of volatility happening and we didn't want to be caught in the middle of. Uh, an action where it gives a false breakout, etc. We said, hey, look, short below 70,500, and then if it breaks 70,600, we can definitely go long, right? So, on I guess on uh, um, what's the day? Uh, Thursday, right? Thursday, we had a break below 17500 and then it went all the way down and it paused on the 50 DMA uh, without any rejection. Now, it has fallen again and it is now testing uh, 500 DMA. Uh, a few people are saying the voice is not clear. Uh, I think it is clear YK. I think you are the only person perhaps for whom the voice is not very clear. Could you check your audio setting? Okay. So, so that's one. Number one. That's the weekly chart of Nifty. Sorry, daily chart of Nifty. Now let's look at the bank Nifty chart. Bank Nifty again, below this blue trend line, massive. So we talked about this, right? This trend line is a support. If it breaks, massive fall all the way to 50 DMA. Uh, so now market is testing 50 DMA, right? So that's the second point. Here's the NR, ER, like, um, <laughs> what do we say? We The only thing we used to keep on saying was don't short. Uh, basically, it is holding the 50 DMA. And if it holds the 50 DMA, it's a long. Uh, and we, we had said that the only way in which it makes sense to short is if it closes below 50 DMA. So above 50 DMA, I think. Uh, but I think in the long run, right, the only uh, thing to do was that if you look at the long term history in the since 2011, there has only been two trades which makes money. Buy Nifty, buy Dollar. Right? Long term, long term, very long term. So, uh, why is this muffled up? One second, I'll just make sure that the correct... Uh, Okay, sorry, sorry. How is the voice now? This is a different speaker now. So I have changed my, I have changed my uh, microphone from the system. Ah, okay. Thank you, Palani. Thank you for confirming it. So Nifty below 1700, it was short. This was a good trade to make. Bank Nifty below this trend line was short. Good trade to make. Dollar INR. Above 50, 50 DMA was a long, good trade to make. So all of this worked out the way we thought it will work out, right? Three things, uh, fine. Now let's look at weekly time frame of these also. Nifty formed a bearish engulfing two weeks back. Then it confirmed it and this week was a given that it would. So basically bearish confirmation and the final move, right? One, two, three. So Bank Nifty also, if you switch to a weekly time frame, you can see that there were rejections but bank nifty is not that direct uh, you know engulfing it's not anything in fact now let's finally look at bank nifty's monthly chart because we are the we are the beginning of the end of the month now this is interesting this is a huge bullish engulfing and uh, in fact right if nifty hadn't fallen so much month in may it would have formed a shooting star now it is not really forming a shooting star so that's a little tricky but again uh, let's see right so if nifty bounces from here then it's very dangerous because it will form a uh, bearish harami, which is a reversal signal. So that is interesting how this week closes. In fact, if this week gives a bounce, this will form and if, if it said, let's say closes at 17300 or something. Now we have a reversal signal if that happens, right? So now let's look at open interest. Open interest, everybody sold calls today. But 17,000 has a lot of puts which were written earlier still standing strong. Not too much of fresh put writing today, maybe around uh, a million, which is not too much uh, because you can see that today, right? Today, everybody sold calls. But having said that, 17,000 is a strong support. 
and only at 17500 there's a bigger call build up than the put build up at 17000 right so that's the last part going to fia data fias mixed signals 35000 bot uh, almost 70000 puts bot so two is to one you would assume that this is bearish which it is but on futures they bought 1000 crores which is bullish on stocks they sold but that's long term bearish so um, overall right i think that um, there are only two beacons of hope for nifty for a bounce now there is a 17000 ka support and there is some buying activity from fii buying some calls and buying some futures and all that maybe right maybe i think that there is a reversal at least a bounce back at 16950 uh, to 17000 zone right and i'll tell you why that is happening also if you look at the chart closely there is a gap here um, this oh that's interesting so now there's a 50 dma there is a gap here right this is a gap there will be some support going into this gap 16950 to 16 17000 zone so you have to watch this gap please don't be shorting here because you're shorting into a support it's a bad idea because if it gives even like 100 200 point bounce if you're shorting with uh, buy puts then your ivs will crash your puts will become worthless if you're shorting with otm puts neither you i mean it's a disaster if it bounces back because now the ivs are high right because of the fall if you're shorting with calls it's a uh, it's again very tricky because if the bounce goes further you'll be deep out of the money deep in the money delta futures are nearly suicidal after such a big fall yahape futures was good yahape i wouldn't do short in fact yahape i will consider booking out half or three fourth of my maybe even the end my entire short which if you have done here you have done and probably wait for a sell on uptakes right so maybe somewhere around this level there's a support 17200 pay there's a resistance i'll probably try to sell at 17200 or 17,300 because there is a gap here also and there's a uh, 50 DMA here also. I don't think I want to short here. I will wait for a continuation signal and sell on upticks. I won't short at 17,000 because if a bounce happens, I'm dead. So basically, yaha pe the trade is to book your profits and wait. So basically, I won't take a trade now. Wait for a continuation signal or a reversal signal no trades now basically you have captured a 500 pointer right on thursday so yaar zabardasti kyu karna hai acha 500 point mil gaya ab khush raho and take some profits and watch the market what it does there's no point in doing anything right now right so that is what i am thinking also rbi event is coming as uh uh is saying uh sab kuch short karo short with sl at 17200 so pratish i completely respect your sentiment and i'd say rather than shorting now the way to go is see price action at 17200 and above and think of shorting there right why do you want to short when there is an rbi event when there's a support every too many big things are standing there right so let's not do anything when there are big things happening let's wait for a while see the bounce see the bounce fizzling at out at 17200 to 17300 and think of what to do next so till then let's just take a break celebrate our 500 points and chill out right so so this is my analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you guys so much for joining as usual this is not advice or tips or anything uh this is just analysis most important thing is keep your risk uh, bet size capital everything safe on that note i'll take your leave good night guys and take care bye